fucking have it What? We got the new base? Hey, hey, Mike's well, back. Welcome back. Yeah. I see we got a new base. I should say. I died already. You know what's the best part of this? I haven't had any Banshees attack yet. What? I think that's a downside. You're an idiot. Thank you. I was going to start. Stupid is pretty popular these days, so I'll take <laughs> that as a compliment. Also starting Sorry, on some. Was... Also starting on some wine production. Yeah, I saw that. Also have blocks. You're now the grapeist. Yes. I also have blocks above the uh, things so that you don't jump as high, and then you can just instantly land on it, so you jump quicker. But... There's three types of wine, so we're going to need some iron berries too. Uh, yes, we have a bunch. Oh, looks like my cockatrice is all lifted. Quest complete, clean juice. 24 bottles of grape juice. Nice. Anyways, I cleared out a couple more battle towers while you were away. Awesome. I didn't kill the uh, battle oh. golem in them, but... Okay. One of them didn't have one because it was a broken battle tower. Anyways, you know why they use wine, right? Why we should make be making wine? Because I'm good at it. <laughs> Besides that. <laughs> so, one type of wine increases your buffs. So, you know how there's those rings that give you the temporary buffs? Yep. Uh, if you use the wine, it increases their buffs to, like, rank 3 at max. Maybe. And then, another type of wine increases your max health by up to 10 hearts. Oh. It's temp health, though. Like, it, uh, like once you lose those hearts, you can't, like, refill them with yeah. health stuff. And then the last one increases the duration of all your buffs up to 10 minutes. So if you're wearing the uh, the rings, you can get the buff on them, then change the buff to rank 3, and then increase them to rank 10, then just equip the rings and you keep the buffs. That's really handy. And you kind of need it, because you have enemies in certain areas that have three to 400 hearts of health, and you have to be able to one-shot them. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not that high of health, but pretty high health. But if you look above the base, there's still some remnants of a windmill. <laughs> I'll have to see on my way back in. When the dragon attacked and burned down the windmill, I just haven't taken part, like, gone all the way up and taken apart all the other things. Oh well, yeah, you can see it. Alright, oh, this, uh, this place also has a bounty board, too. Okay. Just past the uh, sugarcane room, if you look at the roof, there's a, a bounty board up <laughs> in the roof. Alright, real bad. As you can see, I started another wild berry forest up here. Yeah, I'll be bringing those too. So you want to know a good way to get experience? Not dying. Well, besides that, if you come over here. Okay, just a second. Here. <laughs> just gathering potatoes. There is, but you have to do certain things. So under your skills, under, I think it's gathering? No. Farming. Mining, crafting, Un combat? Under farming. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. The, the, oh, great. Skills page. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, yeah, farming. There's green thumb. Get that. Uh, okay, I need 16 farming and 16 magic. Yes. And then under level up reloaded? Under crafting. Okay. There's green thumb. There's... Okay, harvesting efficiency. Not harvesting efficiency, green thumb. Oh, prerequisite green town. Okay, there it is. You get that up, and then like an entire patch of of uh, these potatoes will grow in about a couple of minutes. Oh, jeez. So you do that during these uh, seasons, the seasons that you can do stuff, and then once winter hits, you go out and explore. And freeze to death. Need that warming gear. Wool gear? No, good gear, but put warming on it. Or put an Aussie liner on it. Which gives warming. Yep. And cooling. It's not enough though, you still freeze in winter with Aussie liner. This place also has Aegis guarding it now and then, so... The other thing we can do is you can go and look for an actual swamp land, like vanilla swamp land. Didn't we find one over... That's... New one? We found a swamp land, but that's not the vanilla type. Okay. We need the actual vanilla type with like the trees with vines and like it turns like sort of pale green when you're walking in the area. 
Because that place has the flying enemies that we need to kill for their feathers. Jungles do too. Or yeah, jungles do too. Just that jungles are a little bit annoying because you have to actually kill, uh, kill the enemies from 64 blocks away. So what would you like to do? I'm working on bringing some of the stuff over from our old base at the moment. As soon as I bring this set back to all, uh, go off on an adventure. The reason I was asking about finding the jungle or swamp is uh, the uh, the mine that I made here can go to an area with trolls. Okay. Which, if you had researched earlier, is actually right beside our base. There's a spot for trolls. Well, we knew about this spot over here, but uh, we just hadn't uh, gone exploring inside of it yet. Blood moon. Oh, shit. Uh, are you home? Yeah. Okay, we're going to need... Definitely going to need some dirt. Blood moons are another great way to get experience, but you have to be able to kill the enemies. Do not fight in the storage room, because enemies can destroy wood stuff. Okay. Oh, this room looks the best right here, and there's nothing in it. And this room here. These things are easy to make, so if these get destroyed, it's not a big deal. I also bottled up all the juice, so... Pets, mounts, you. That's a Bracer. lot of enemies out there. Summon. Uh, careful for summons, because your summon will hit a creeper, and then it'll explode and blow away a wall. That dude's going to outer space. Why is my game flickering? Because <laughs> there's so many spawns. They're trying to break down another door. Got dirt in most front of most of the doors. We, should, we got uh, water somewhere. What's up? Water? No, we don't. Here, drink from this. Okay, I'm throwing it back on the ground for you. Well, oh, that's a lot of stuff in a backpack. Vengeance cloaking. Okay, that guy's gonna counter. So hit him in the feet. Yeah, there's no dirt in front of the door beside me. Yeah, but the ones leading inside is there? Yeah. Ooh, dark org. Uh, where did I put my thingy? Where's my bed? Over here. Oh, no. I lost my thingy. That's what I did with it. Can you use mine? Yeah, I can. They give slowness to a paralysis. I have my soul stone back. Okay, it's on the ground. I see a rock carrying a creeper. The vengeance zombie here, so I have to heal myself now. <laughs> Ow. Can we use spear soon? I've got glitchy summon things going on. Skeleton shot a creeper in front of the door. Oh no, 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 no. Crap, the creeper got inside, uh, on top of the rock. Oh yeah, you got it. And I didn't spend my experience again. I last slept at the other base. You get all my XP's! It's not a lot. When, in Arlcraft, Arlcraft, when you die, you lose a lot of the experience that you drop. I had a lot. You literally gave me one level. <laughs> Should I stick your stuff in the chest? I'll be right there. Alright, I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect so this weird graphic glitch doesn't happen. Okay. It happens when you uh, switch from uh, your summoning staff, when you're summoning, to something else. Because I was like, I'm gonna summon a Junok, and I thought, no wait, it's gonna hit a creeper and blow it up, so I'm gonna stop summoning it. I saw a zombie up here. I hear a zombie. We have two nymphs just hanging out in the middle of our base. Oh, hello wisps, just hanging out here. Get your stuff back. I just got back. Okay, I'm missing boots. You didn't pack. I'm gonna pick up any gold boots, right? Let me check. Nope, just a gold helmet. Okay. Want the gold helmet? It has uh, aqua affinity and physical protection too. I got fire protection one and chilling at the moment. 
Ooh, I'm breaking too. I'll take that one instead. Should combine some of those little helmets. Which ones? The uh, low XP helmets. I just, uh, what is it? Like, equip them so they get their durability back. Right. I also have a very specific stone axe that I have. In the dump chest, don't use that one. Because okay. it's got looting three on it, so I use it, I use it for uh, when I have to kill like animals and stuff for meat. Okay. And then I just use the levels to uh, repair it so it keeps its enchants. I'm gonna go exploring... Oh wait, after nightfall. Are we gonna go beat up the tower golem? I think we can. Pointy, shiny. Kill it with crossbows from afar. I mean, we can go try. Madman. Oh, right. Sleep first. Could you made yourself a white bed for the white boy? I just brought my bed from the other place. So white bed for the white boy? Yeah. <laughs> Essence to cracker. <laughs> All right, to the Netherrack Tower. Seems the bee place stopped disintegrating while I was uh, away. Still some of it there. Not the bees. Especially on report cards. Yeah. Is there water nearby the tower? Yes. You should build a column up, shoot it with the crossbow, and then jump into the water to wake the beast. I can do that. Just gotta collect some dirt. Right, I forgot to bring dirt with me too. I brought cobblestone, but I didn't want to use dirt for that. Let me try to get the uh, golem to jump off. Do not destroying the chests inside. Dang, once we beat the golem, won't the chests explode anyways? Yeah, but we got a good chance of stuff in them, I think. I guess we'll see. Uh, I mean, if I can draw them off the tower, go up and grab everything. Watch me just catch a fireball to the side of the head while I'm just jumping up. Oh, I guess, um, I guess it would have helped if I brought a bow or something. I brought javelins, but I've got four chances to hit them. Are they just hanging out on top there? Yeah. I can just like to make some lock picks. Yeah, I gotta run grab a bow anyways. You might as well run back and grab my lockpicks then, because I think the wood box has a bunch of lockpicks in it. Yeah, 40 some. Weapons. Okay, what do we got? A bow with power on it. Yes, that'll work. Oh, I can take a boomerang. I'm going to take a boomerang too. <laughs> Should we wait till the next day? We just slept, didn't we? It's past midday already. Oh. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Oh, ammunition. Explosive arrows, yes. It's water. Get parasites. Because you can never get just one. Yeah, the sun's going down. Oh, you sleeping. Can't just dye the bed yellow. <laughs> you can actually use a cauldron. But yeah, I figured having a, uh, a warp stone at home would be convenient. Yeah. Later you can Especially just build them. With... Yeah. But at least this way, if we have a those scrolls to just teleport to any um, portal, we, then you can portal to this one, right? Clearing out the forest. Sons of the forest. Comes out in October. It'll be a new game for us to play. Going Janok? Oh, <laughs> Janok found an enemy. Alrighty, going back up. Janok's having the time of his life over here. Let me know once you piss him off. Hey, okay, about to now. Well, about to start trying to. It's like, uh oh, he's really mad now. Crap, he went through the floors. What's he doing? Digging to China. Oh, butts. He's right there. Shoot him. 
I don't even see him. JK. And like I can't actually see him, he's invisible to me. I have to get pretty close to him to get... Let's see if I can actually increase my view distance to see if I can see him better. Nope. I saw him fine from my tower. But we're gonna have to start killing him if we want that gear that's all around his feet from the chests. Too hot, hot damn. Okay, I managed to get a bunch of the stuff that was there. An elemental behind you? Yeah, tremor one. Oh, frick. Uh, probably try and pick all that stuff up and then, uh... Oh, there. Just watch for the tremor, dude. I killed him. Uh, I picked up a bunch of the stuff I'm just gonna deposit into the chest over here. Yeah, no, I'm coming to just start picking stuff up too and throw it in the chest. I'll grab my gear out after. One of these days I'll remember to actually use the levels that I get before dying all the time. Maybe one of these days I'll uh, eventually increase my defense so that I can wear actually good armor and not die all the time. Uh, the armor itself doesn't provide a lot of protection, it's the enchants that does. Yeah, I could take a full shot from him. I could take one full shot and it would just take out my shielding, but I couldn't take a second one. So I think he ended up happening. So he got stuck down below, and then he started launching the charges and hitting himself. I think so too. Nighttime approaches. There's a cave down here. You wanna log out? Play zombie drowned. Okay. Alright, it's oh. morning. Kill the random chupacabra down here. Hey. I was able to find most of your stuff. I think so. Yeah, I died up over here, so... Yeah, that's where I got most of the stuff from. Yeah, I don't see anything extra. But yeah, I think they made it so that the uh, battle golem doesn't, like... It only spawn... Like, you can only see it like up to about three chunks away, so it can always fire at you. It's not like dragons that you can catch, like, ten chunks away and shoot at it so that it can't shoot back. I saw it all the way from my tower to the thing and shot it. And that's... Farther distance than you were. Huh. Alright, heading back with what I can get. Wait, I guess I can probably actually put some more armor on. There's gold armor and stuff in here. Yeah, I just gotta pick out what's mine. I'm gonna use that bizarre though. That's my bizarre. With shield right, never on mind. It. I'm not gonna use that bizarre then. I did pick up one with nothing on it. Huh. I'm gonna drop some stuff in the chest. I wanna kill these Silex from Arabian Treats. And back home. Huh, must be summer. You wanna take down all the potatoes, get some levels? Okay. And uh, make sure you're careful because uh, stuff will spawn from potatoes. So make sure you, you, you use your levels. What levels? <laughs> They're empty again. <laughs> I have a box with all the chart stuff. With all the chart stuff, it's called dragons. Are we're here? Yeah, I'm gonna keep on uh, heading through the mine towards the forest, and then I'll make a dark area there for trolls to spawn. <laughs> I hear a horny skeleton. Still in the meadow. Suddenly, lava. Not enough room in the potato box. Just throw them in the spare boxes for now. Oh, do you have your uh, sleeping bag with you? Yes. Okay, and it's nighttime. Sleeping underground. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the rest of the stuff from outside that battle tower. Almost fall into lava because there's a random banshee. Now I gotta cool off. I've got. Uh, Chilling chest plate on, so that's helping. I'm just hot because I'm standing by lava. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll do it. Bathe in it. You just about have to in winter. Goddamn annoying banshee. Ooh, I have enough defense now to wear uh, diamond armor. Please don't use a lot of diamonds. No, 
I'm going to use diamond armor if it comes up, but I'm not going to uh, make it. There's a couple pieces in the, from the last battle tower. Yeah. There's a chest piece and pants, but I'll probably put some enchantments on them before I wear them. And to do that, we need to find a good village with enchantments. And to do that, we need flight. So that's what I'm working on now. Yeah, and I'll, uh, as soon as I get this load of stuff back, I will go and search for a jungle to get the, either the amphitheaters or a swamp to get the Strix. Don't forget to take your sleeping bag with you. Yeah, it's in my inventory already. Oh, and did you use your levels from harvesting? Yes. <laughs> we'll just go past this cave. A lot of caves down here. All right, I'm at river, so I am getting close to the forest. Forest biome. That would be why there's banshees. I just went to a mine, abandoned mine shaft. <laughs> Silverfish. Them's his butts. Tank darkling. See a chupacabra down there too. I should probably make a... I probably shouldn't make another dragon bone canteen. I'll just drink from whatever I find. Oh, if it's starting to become fall, I probably shouldn't be wearing my chilling armor outside. I mean, it's. I think it's just early summer still. Oh, okay. Well, this is inconvenient. It's like, I want to make a place to fight trolls. Right, the entire forest is like... Uh, in the middle of an abandoned mine shaft. Oof. So it's like, well, oh, look, banshees. I don't want those, I want trolls. What are you up to? I got up to big mountains. But I'm back. Sugar cane. I got up the mountain. And then I went to jump in the water on the off the other side because I was getting chased by a bunch of uh, the stupid air elementals. Are you talking about the North Mountain? Um, maybe. I think it's north. The one near the the one you can see like right beside base that mountain. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side of that, there's a treasure chest with a bunch of stuff in it that I haven't brought back yet because there's a tiny mini dungeon. And then if you keep going north from there, there's a village, which is where the village I don't want to be ruined. You can see it all if you take the uh, atlas. Oh, I shouldn't take anything important. Not until my character can handle a stiff breeze. <laughs> stiff something. Right, let me know when you need me to sleep again, because I'll be down in the mine. Apparently there's a pretty good audio clue for you, and there's trolls nearby too. I just don't know what it is, because I've never seen a troll. Well, okay, I've seen them on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Sleeping. So doomed to fall means a Zephyr knocked you off and you felt died from height damage? Yeah, it uh, got me and I thought I was above water and as I was falling it's like, oh, that's actually land down there. <laughs> look down, look way down. Oh yeah, because it does an attack where you're floating for a little while, right? Yeah. So I bet you you're just floating and you look down and you're just like, I'm in danger! Yep. I just need to find my boomerang. Oh, yeah, cobblestone for building purposes. Make sure someone summon a Geonoc to protect me now and then. Because you know enemies in, the, enemies in this game aren't very dangerous. Yeah. Ah. Water enemy? Yeah. Didn't abide by its rules? Yeah. I'll get all the way back to my gear again. Quite a mine shaft. Oh, TNT. <laughs> I know. Where's Junok going? Junok went out there and had the time of his life. Get your stuff back. I'm looking for my shield. Cheat for a second. Increase my brightness so I can see under the freaking water. Nope, I don't think my shield's coming back. Oh, come on. 
that took me two ticks to die. It's just about nighttime. Sleeping. Which I guess it would have been three ticks to drown. But I wasn't very deep. I had no chance of getting to the surface. Beat him in a troop of carbon, more darklings. Dang, grew. Sneaky zombie. This mini battle tower over here. Yeah, that is just deep in the ground, and there's only two levels above the ground. <laughs> now to look for a nymph. <laughs> Another, another battle tower. Snow biome. Oh, and there's that village. I'm because it's daytime. I'm going there now just so I can get the uh, waste stone. There's that mossy uh, battle tower right in the middle of the village. Well, not in the yeah, middle. That, of that's it. the one. That's the one that just has the uh, uh, dude at the top left. Oh, okay. You already looted this village then? Most of it. There's probably it's big enough that there's probably some stuff that I missed. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about it then. I'm just looking for the uh waystone. I'm on the path to it. Oh, I see it. There's a rock. It's mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stuck in a tree. Yeah, I figured. Oh, there's a green dragon where I'm looking. Yeah, there's one by, there's another battle tower there. Okay, it looks like it's out in the middle of the, uh... Whereabouts? Forest location. Uh, I'm coming back to the waystone so you can see. Looks like a grade two or something, it's that way. I see it over here, there's one by the, by the battle tower over here, I just saw it flying Yeah, above. that's the one I was looking at. Ding! Watch out, he's flying this way. Crap, I don't want him to fly towards the village. Crap. He... Did he fly away? Is he still flying around above? He flew away. Flame Duder. <sighs> Alright, take care of the Flame Duders. There's probably gonna be more spawning though. Dang it, more Flame Duders. Okay, put out all the your gold fire here. on the... Okay. It's on, it's on top of the roof here. Oh, okay, I'll be right there. Where at? I picked it up. Oh, okay. Here. It's getting night time. Let's go back. Yeah, just re equipping all my stuff here quick. Alright, we took care of one battle golem, and I did make a room all the way in the uh, forest, but I don't think it'll make a difference because the mineshaft spawns so many enemies that there's not going to be any troll spawning. Okay. It would be a very off chance if they do. Yes. Too busy spawning, like, Darklings and, uh, Necks and Chupacabras. Which are probably regular spawns there anyways, but... Hello, Random Aegis. And call her here. Um, make sure I got all my stuff that I had. Yep. Alright, and then next time, maybe I'll work on flight some more. <laughs> I'll try and die uh, less. Yep. Yep, you need more levels. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Hey, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe and the right one to watch more RL Craft. Thanks for watching.